All right, welcome back to Campbell Racing. Going to do a little bit different video today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ghost racing. So what is it, how do you do it, and why should you care? So first off, uh, ghost racing is where you enter a session that other people are in. It's a live session, so it's not offline, and you can go in and race with these people and uh, see everything that they're doing, but you are a ghost. So they do not see you, they do not hear you, anything like that. It does not affect your eye racing or your eye rating. It does not affect your safety rating, um, but you can be out on track with other people. So that's what it is. About to show you how you do it. Uh, so we are going to go into the uh, Arca series. So as you see, it just popped, so we cannot go in here. Uh, we're going to wait until uh, this opens up. So once this opens up and it's the race, see we can't register for it because it just went off. Uh, it's going to have all of the different splits here. So looks like we've got these two splits. The lower the number, the higher the split. So um, it says 79 and 82, so I'm guessing there's a couple others that just aren't up yet. So let's go back in it. Nope, it's only showing those two for some reason. But anyway, so 79 is going to be a higher split than 82. We can do either one of these, but I'm going to go into the higher split. So you click watch, and then it will put us into that session. Uh, one cool thing about this is, uh, especially if you get in before uh, qualifying, you can actually see how the people qualify. And uh, it's great. There's nothing that they can do about it, right? So if you don't know the line to qualify or how to run the track or something like that, you can hop in here and just get in, you know, one of the, the high I rating people's cockpits and look. So we're probably going to watch uh, Cody Johnson here. It's a 7K I, I rating guy and uh, just see how he runs it. And if we're in early enough before the practice session ends, we can see his qualifying and uh, kind of dissect it from there. And um, then we can go and get out on track and mimic it as well. So the reasons that you would do this, uh, looks like they're still in the practice, so that's good. Let's go ahead and select him. Uh, we can get out on track if we want to. Let's see. Uh, hopefully they'll come around here. Yeah, so it's like, see, they do not know I'm here. They're just going to go straight through me. And this doesn't affect you in any way. So it's a fantastic way to practice. And especially if you're a lower split guy and you're like, hey, you know, how do the higher split guys do it? Or I think I'm ready to go to the next split. Uh, you know, what are my times? You can hop in one of these sessions and, you know, just see. Do, do I have what it takes to go to the next split? And, uh, how is it going there? So you can look at their qualifying, hop in the car. Um, you can join the race. Uh, again, they won't see you, but it their arrow does affect your car. So if you're looking at tire wear or, you know, getting tight and dirty air and stuff like that, you can, like, pull in the pits and then check your tire wear, and it's legit just as if you were in the race with them. And so um, don't think that you're too good to do this <laughs> because uh, I promise you top split guys do this as well. And, and so if you're a bottom split guy and you're just looking like, I have no idea how to run this track, it is a fantastic tool. If you're a very high I rating guy that's in top split and you've been doing some laps and say, Hey, I've got my tire wear. Well, that's in, that's in clean air, right? You say, I don't know how it's going to dirty air is going to affect me. This is a fantastic way to do it. So, uh, don't think that, uh, you know, you're too good or too bad to, to do this. I promise you people all across the spectrum are doing this. So it doesn't look like Cody's out on track, but we can go to, uh, this guy. So he is the number four. And then we're going to be able to look at all of them and, uh, kind of see what the differences are. So, just the fact that Cody's not doesn't mean that we won't be able to see him later. So let's just take a, a live look here and see what we can see here. Pretend like we don't know uh, anything about this track. I think he's coming to his first, first lap. 
that he's driving pretty deep in. Uh, the RPMs let out kind of slowly, so I think he was just lifting and, and not really breaking that hard. Did not get down to the bottom. Notice he got super loose. He may just be uh, gaining momentum. But another good thing about this, too, is uh, you can go back and look at this, but it's from your FOV, right? So it doesn't matter if this guy's got triple screens or if he's in VR or, or anything like that. You're looking at it as if you were driving it. Okay, so his second lap, he's definitely a little bit lower. Still coming out uh, pretty wide, so he's not wrapping the bottom the entire time. And let's see where his lift point is. So he's driving it in pretty deep, keeping the RPMs uh, pretty high. He's not all the way to the bottom. And so I don't, I don't know if that's the right way to drive it or not. What, what did he end up getting here? He got a, a 30.6 for his call find. So right now, uh, okay, so let's see what this guy got. And this was on his first lap. So we're coming in. He goes all the way to the bottom, gets loose, brings it out. But uh, but yeah, so we're looking at everything the way we would see it, right? And that it can be primary. extremely useful. So I immediately noticed that he's running closer to the bottom than, than the other guy. He wrapped the bottom a little bit more and kind of cuts it off. So say, okay, well, I, I think that's probably how we're going to want to run it here. And uh, then we can get out on track. Let's see. There's still two minutes left. We can go to session last lap. And now we're just going to try to imitate what they're doing. And if we mess up and we wreck, who cares? All right. It doesn't affect safety rating in the least. And so it is a fantastic way to get out here and practice. Um, shameless plug, if you're new to the channel, I do have a video on how to practice it's called it's in the how do i series uh but with all of that stuff i'm using external tools like uh, garage 61 and motec and stuff like that and one of the things i like about this is that it's just in iRacing right you don't have to download anything extra or anything like that and uh so it's just here and you can learn from the best right i mean so We've got a 7K I rating guy that's going to be in the race, and we can sit in his car the entire race and watch and see exactly how he's doing it. And all it's going to take is us not racing one time throughout the week. And so if you do this early on in the week, you're giving up one race to get better for all the rest of the races in the week. So what did we end up there? 31-1, so we definitely need to push harder here. We missed the bottom, so I know that I didn't drive that the, the right way. I'm coming way up out of here. So we definitely know, hey, you know, we've, we've got things to work on, and now we can go and just continue to work on them. So let's see what we would end up with here. So we would be at a 30.933, which is... Let's go see where that would have qualified. So 30.9, so yeah, I would I would have been way down here. So they're definitely doing stuff. We need to go back and look. Okay, let's go see, see what Cody did here. So it was his second lap. Let's see what he did. So right at the hill, so I definitely overdrove one. He went all the way to the bottom. Didn't wrap it, was aggressive coming out with it. More aggressive on throttle going into three. And, uh, okay, so now they are starting the race. So it kind of popped us out of there. We can go back to it. It's just because it, it swapped over there. So let's get back into here. He's holding the bottom for a lot longer, does not track all the way out to the wall. And so, okay. So now I can either get back out on track and test it. It's going to take them a, a minute to, uh, oh, I can't uh, put it in gear right now because it's waiting on them. So uh, one thing that we can do here is say, okay, I would have qualified in the back. 
and would I have any long run speed? And so we can just let them go, hop in at the at the uh, tail end, and pretend like we're uh, in the race. But yeah, so with my other practicing stuff, uh, I'm using external tools. They're they're all free, but you still do have to download extra stuff and and all that. With this, it's just iRacing, right? And uh, you know, for for better or worse, like there's there's nothing Cody can do to stop this here. So, so I guess I could title this, uh, you know, top split guys hate this one trick. Um, but uh, but yeah, so okay. we can either run it ourselves or I can get out, hop in Cody's car, and just see the race from his perspective. And uh, you can do this with literally any driver. And uh, so yeah, we're just gonna wait on on everybody to to go through here. I think my graphic settings on pit road it has it where they're not going. The estimated strength of field is two thousand seven hundred twenty. Nope, they're just not going. Right, fellas, yet. Ready to go. It's a glorious day for a race today. If you guys have prepared a really good race, and I'm not. Car, I'm not going to make box. you sit through the the whole race here. I'm just going to show you a couple to things here. See, he's going right through me. So there's no way for us to wreck anybody. Now, you will get damaged. So if you hit the wall, it is going to hurt your car uh, the way it would in the race. But it doesn't affect your safety rating or I rating at all. And so. You can get in any session that you want to. You can go to top split. You can go to bottom split. You know, you can do whatever you want and just kind of see how you compare, right, and how you would have done in that race. And so this is a fantastic way to get better uh, quickly and um, well, have some fun, uh, you know, at the same time. <laughs> Nobody wants to do a 35-lap run by themselves. I'm not gonna uh, and practice that way. Up. It uh, just that it just sucks. But you can you can right, be well, in right. here hey, and uh, see ready. how you would do the race. So we're just going to start in the back, do a couple laps, and and see if we would have anything for them race base here. So. And again, just to show you, the 11 has no idea that I'm here. I can drive through his car, nothing's gonna happen, so I can't bump him or anything like that. But the arrow is affecting me. So I'm gonna be tighter being yeah, behind him than I would be otherwise. And so if you're just learning the track, it's great to see, hey, you know, okay, they're running the bottom, that this is where I need to run. Once you get up a little bit past that, say you have short run speed, but you don't have long run speed, you know, how how would that affect me? Um, when does when does my speed fall off? You know, what do my tires look like and stuff like that? And then as you get uh, even more up on the ranks uh, or in the ranks, you can look at you know very specific tire wear kind of things and and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, so just do a couple laps here just to see if we would have anything for them. Uh, I suspect, because I haven't run ARCA in, in forever, that uh, I'm not going to have anything for them and uh, would have to wait on the tire wear to uh, to kick in before I would be able to do anything. But, uh, but yeah, so let's see what would happen if I send it on the high side here. Inside, at your door. Go inside. So you can just kind of gauge it and be like, okay, he would be on my inside right now, right? So if they end up running into you, no harm, no foul. Outside. Clear. Outside, outside. Be like, he would definitely give me room there, and so I would be able to drive through. Now, here's where it's going to get tricky is because, um, like with side draft and stuff like that, the ARCA cars aren't that bad at it. But if you are in a car uh, that has, like, side draft or something like that, if they get to where they would side draft you, it will pull you back, but you can't side draft them. And so uh, a lot of times it's not an exact one-to-one -one representation, but for what we're wanting out of it, it's, it's you know, fantastic. And so, so we'll just do that and then we'll pull off and then uh, say we forgot how they qualified. You can go back 
and look at all of their qualifying laps, or you can just go, okay, he's in the lead. Let's see it from his point of view, right? So he's hugging the bottom. Notice it. he's got a little bit of the, the offset here, and so uh, the steering wheel doesn't 100% match up a lot of times, but you can kind of get an idea of where his lift points are. And so it looked like he was lifting right before that downhill transition there. So if you're overdriving, that's something to, to note. Uh, just listening and looking at when his RPMs drop and where he is on track, say, okay, maybe I'm overdriving a little bit, right? Or maybe I'm underdriving. And so it look, I'm guessing when he goes into the next corner, right before the downhill transition, you're gonna hear the RPMs drop. Let's see if that is true. So right here. Yep, his RPMs go down, he hugs the bottom, he stays on the bottom all the way past that patch and is very low to it. And uh, looks like, I guess, when he's going to pass the red sign here, they're going to drop. So he went a little bit past that. And uh, so I would have definitely been under driving three uh, according, according to this. He's not tracking all the way out to the wall and is still getting good runoff. And so I now know way more about this uh, and how to drive this, this car on this track than I did, you know, 10 minutes ago, something like that. And so uh, one last thing I'll, I'll point out here is it doesn't look like he's tracking all the way out to the wall in one. And it looks like he's like staying a car, car width off the wall and there's nobody out there. And that is one of the things about Texas. But if you don't know that about Texas, you may just learn, oh, you know, I've been doing that wrong the whole way. So watch how he didn't go all the way out to the wall here. See how he's that far off the wall? And that's something that all the high I rating guys know about Texas. But if you don't know that, you just don't know that. But if you're watching a high I rating guy do it, then, you know, you, you're going to pick up on things like that. And so uh, don't shy away from ghost racing. One, just entering the session viewing it from their point of view, but then also getting out on track and doing it yourself. You know, that's that's the next step. And uh, do an entire race in top split. See where you would finish. You know, qualify and see what your time is and where you would qualify and then kind of start the race from there and go, go from there. It is a very useful and very underutilized tool that can get you a lot better a lot quicker. So anyway, uh, that's all I have for this video. If you like this kind of content, uh, give me a like, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments if it helps you. If it doesn't, uh, let me know if there's other things that you would want me to cover, uh, such uh, like stuff like this. And uh, yeah, that'll do it from here. Thanks for watching.